I remember I had a teacher, Philip Bazanis, in the University of Iowa. He said, any man or woman in a bathtub can give you a tune. He said, so you're not, you're not unique <laughs> as a composer thinking you got a tune. He said, the only difference is that a composer knows what to do with the tune. And, and then he'd always say, da, 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 you know. <laughs> Loads of composers uh, use that in concerto grossos in the Baroque period. But Beethoven knew how to use just that little motive to get the monumental piece that he did. I've written pieces that I thought weren't as successful as others. But I mean, I would never play it safe and write a safe piece. Every piece I write, I try to grow. That willingness to, to constantly search and take that risk and being willing to fail. I mean, I think that's part of being willing, willing to succeed, too. The sooner you get out on the road and start doing what you want to do, you know, the better off you are. And uh, that won't make you better at it, but at least, you, at least you're on the road to doing, to making yourself happy. The question of doubt never comes to my mind. <laughs> I mean, you're, the reason people doubt is, is they're seeking perfection. I sought to be the best that I could be at a particular time, and still seek, seeking to be that. Martin Luther King had a great sermon that said, how long, not long. <laughs> you can wait and postpone and, and be indecisive, and it uh, just goes on and on and on. And, and, and at some point, you have to make a decision, otherwise you become uh, 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 incapable of doing anything. The choice between something that you're good at and something that you love <laughs> is, 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 is problematic. I would, say, I would say choose what you love. Doing what you want to do is neither a privilege nor a struggle. It's, uh, it's, it's a combination of the two. Um, in any career, there are obstacles. There are ups and downs. It's not about success, quote, in terms of the traditional attitude towards success. The, 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 the goal is really to document who you are and document the culture. That's what all artists do. The day that you say, I know what I want to do, that's the day you die. <laughs> I mean, you stop learning at that point. And uh, um, I have always studied music. I've always studied scores. I've always tried to become a better composer. And to this day, I'm still studying music. And I don't think of myself as, as having arrived at where I want to be. I think it's a, it's a lifelong search. And, and, you, and the great thing about it is that you never know. <laughs> You never know all the answers. You know what you want to do and you know how to do it, but you don't know how to do it better. I've always felt that you are more than just an artist. You're basically a humanist too. And uh, I remember I had this talk with, with my friend, my best friend is Richard Hunt, the sculptor in Chicago. Richard and I were talking about the riots. So I was saying that if there was a ride, I'd be out there on the front row. Richard said, oh no, I said, I would be in my studio creating sculpture about the march. And that struck me right here, <laughs> struck me between the eyes. And I said, that, that, said, he said, what he said is that artists do what artists do. Mm -hmm.